What's up everybody, it's your boy Mim here. I'm supposed to be studying for the SAT right now, but instead, you know, my parents are going to the store and it's really quiet right now, so I'm gonna show you guys all the iPhones I've had. Now, my phone is charging right now. I'm sorry, one sec. So I'm testing my desk kind of disconnects from the wall, so I have to push it forwards. But right now my phone's charging. But right now I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Very great phone, has a dynamic island, has the uh, just, absolute behemoth cameras on the back, very good, very good phone, right? I really like this phone, always on screen, 120 hertz, LiDAR, ultra-wide, macro mode, uh, two times mode, um, color profiles, uh, pro raw, pro res, um, OLED screen, uh, LTPO 2.0 screen, um, lots of, lots of cool features that are on my phone, but these are all of the phones that I've had in the past, okay? So, First phone I ever had was an iPhone 3G. It was in this particular OtterBox case. Now keep in mind, all of these phones have OtterBox cases on them. This phone has an OtterBox Defender Pro XT on it in the back. Um, yeah, first iPhone, I think this is actually 3D, 3GS because it could record video. Um, first iPhone was an iPhone 3GS. Uh, when was the iPhone 3GS released? Um, June 19th, 2009. <laughs> Uh, so I had this when I was very, very young. I couldn't bring it anywhere. It didn't have a SIM card in it. Um, basically when my parents switched to their iPhone 5s, um, I got their old phone, which was this. And this is actually my mom's old phone. Uh, this is before they had a retina screen. So when you, when the screen's on and you look close to it, you can actually see the pixels on the screen. Uh, the camera is two megapixels, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, it was the first iPhone to record video. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I take off the case, you'll actually see the, the pretty cool design. Now this iPhone, if I remember correctly, was actually substantially cheaper than the first iPhone. And since this was the second iPhone ever made, um, you know, it meant that a lot more people bought this one than bought the first iPhone, you know. Uh, you know, my parents' buddy, uh, buddy, uh, Carrie, she bought the first iPhone. And, uh, you know, I remember when they finally bought these, she said, welcome to the dark side. They always talk about how irritating it was when she said that. So this is my first phone. I recorded a lot of, um, I showed you this a couple episodes ago. I should, I recorded some of my Leo blogs on this. Uh, but then my parents upgraded to iPhone sixes and I got my dad's old iPhone five. This is in an OtterBox commuter case. It looks like, um, you know, see the commuter before we become a mainstay. Uh, but yeah, iPhone five in a, in an OtterBox commuter, very good phone. Uh, you know, it served me well. Uh, fun fact, back in sixth grade, m maybe middle school, I um, had actually dropped my iPhone 5. It was in this exact same case, exact same phone. I dropped my phone and uh, I picked it up and the entire screen was white with broken glass. It was shattered, right? No idea why, super strange. Um, but luckily my, um, my grandma also had an iPhone 5 and so she sent it to me, uh, just like this spare iPhone 5 she had because she was using like an iPhone 7 at the time or something. Uh, but yeah, this is the last iPhone to have the, the power button on the top. Uh, then once they moved to the iPhone 6, they all had the power button on the side. Um, I'm pretty sure this is also the first iPhone to move to the lightning connector. Um, hold on. Yeah, so this is the first iPhone to actually use the lightning connector. Before that, they used the old iPod 40 pin connector. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, the commuter case back in the day had circular buttons. I think this is because the iPhone 5 also had circular buttons, but it's not my thing. And it's the last iPhone up until the iPhone 12 to have a flat edge design. And this case is really on here, so I can't really take this off right now. But, um, you know, if I, if I were to try to, well, I could, I could try right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video. One sec. I'm gonna try and take this case off. Okay, I can't right now. But, um, you know, on the bottom it has a lightning port and a headphone jack right here. And, uh, you know, just a very good phone. Uh, and the 5S came with um, Touch ID, but, you know, this doesn't have Touch ID. And it also has a physical button, but still on the next phone. So uh, my parents then switched, switched um, I think my dad switched to an iPhone 8. Um, and so then I switched to an iPhone 6. And uh, this, actually, this iPhone actually has a lot of stickers on the back. I'm pretty sure this case is an OtterBox. Um, it looks like a, it looks like an OtterBox commuter. I'm pretty sure this is also a commuter. My last case was also a commuter um, on the iPhone 5. Um, so yeah, just, you know, very, uh, very stickered phone. I had this uh, mainly through like seventh through ninth grade, I, I believe, maybe. No, no way. Like, 
seventh to eighth to maybe ninth. Um, you know, last iPhone with a physical home button, uh, last iPhone with a headphone jack, you know, last iPhone with a lot of things. Uh, oh, same, same lightning connector. Uh, oh, and let me show you on the uh, iPhone 3G old 40 pin connector. This is what it looked like. Um, but yeah, really good iPhone, best selling iPhone, the iPhone 6. Uh, very, very good phone, in my opinion. Also, super light. You know, all these phones are so heavy nowadays. This is just like nothing in your hand, for real. And it's it's very large compared to the compared to the last iPhone. Uh, you know, they, they sold it as, as a lot bigger as well. Like, that was a big marketing thing. And then my last iPhone, the iPhone I had up until yesterday, was my iPhone 8. I brought this to homecoming uh, yesterday. And, uh, you know, no headphone jack, as you can tell. Uh, you know, it adds true tone onto the display. Uh, the home button isn't physical, it's just like a piece of glass, flat piece of glass. Uh, the camera's not a lot different, I don't know. Honestly, I've had the iPhone 8 for so long, I don't really remember what's new with it. Uh, but then, you know what? I'm gonna unplug my phone, it's fine. I don't, I don't like unplugging it because it's like, I don't like unplugging it until it's fully charged because that's like a bad for the battery, I think. But, um, you know, oh well. Uh, yeah, and then here is iPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is my new one. Really big camera on the back, just silly large. If you compare it to the camera bump on my last phone, you can you can really you can really see the difference. Um, you know, it has a always on display. The screen isn't on right now. Uh, when I turn it on, it goes like this. When I turn it off, it's just like this forever. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people have turned it off. Uh, I don't know. I I like it. It's also the first iPhone I've had with Face ID. It's also uh, the first iPhone I've had with, can I show my screen? I'm in Seattle, that won't dox myself. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm fine. Uh, let me turn down by brightness. Um, this is actually the first iPhone with a little thing up there, the, the dynamic island. And um, it's actually crazy because I've skipped all the notched phones. I've never had a notched iPhone. I've only, I switched from the iPhone 8 to the one with the dynamic island, which is crazy to think about. But the cool thing about something like this, you've definitely seen this before, but uh, you know, if you start a timer, uh, like let's say a 25 minute timer and then you go up, it goes up into the notch there. It like expands a little bit and it shows you how much time left you have on the on the timer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. It's cool. I really enjoy it. It's a it's a lot of fun. Uh, I this case is actually an OtterBox Defender Pro XT. Um, I had accidentally bought the Defender Pro from Amazon, so I had to return it. I had to wait a bunch of days for my because my phone was already here, and I had to wait a bunch of days for my for my case to show up because I got the wrong case. So I got my case yesterday. I've had my phone for like six days, but I haven't activated it. I've activated it. It has this nice case on it. it has a nice screen protector. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sides, but uh, you know. Pretty well applied screen protector. It's a Spigen Easy Fit. Um, so you could, there's like a big frame that you put on the phone that you just slide your finger over and it's perfectly applied. Great case. Great, great screen protector, I mean. Um, yeah, a very good phone. Defender Pro XT. Still uses lightning for some reason. Uh, you know, next iPhone, they're definitely confirmed gonna switch to USB-C because of the EU regulation, but um, so it's irritating that, you know, sure, I was, able to skip all, I was able to skip all the notch iPhones, but I was not able to skip Lightning. I'm still stuck with Lightning, but, you know, <sighs> drop almost spot my phone. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, but, yeah. Let's show the evolution one more time. Got iPhone, iPhone 3GS, to iPhone 5, to iPhone 6 to iPhone 8, to iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, yeah. All right, that's it, I think. Uh, one of my longer videos in a while, but you know, I think iPhones are really cool. <laughs> so uh, I'm, just, I'm just talking about them, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and also, this is like $70 for trade-in, and my dad was gonna trade it in. But since it's only $70, uh, he was like, you can keep it, which is nice because he knows about my little phone collection and how much I like looking back at my old phones. And I'm actually pretty sure I jailbroke this old iPhone 6. Um, and I'm probably gonna jailbreak my iPhone right now. I hate jailbreaking phones I already have. I could, theoretically, but um, I just, I dislike it. If you, I, 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 I don't like, 
I like jailbreaking in theory, I don't like it in practice. Um, but yeah, all right. Oh, for breakfast, I had a, a, some of the, the sandwich that my mom made, and uh, for lunch, I had a grilled cheese, and for dinner, we're having a meatball sub. It's crazy, because we're all, we're having sandwiches for all three meals, I am at least. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna study for the SAT now, because it's happening in three days, and I don't know any of the math portion. Uh, but you know, last time I did the PSAT, I got really good on writing, so you know. Uh, yeah, all right, see you, dude.